back. Communities in North Bahamia coming together this weekend for the annual Christmas tree lighting ceremony. It is the first big event to launch the Christmas season. Megan Shepard was there. It is the season to be jolly, to spread love, peace, and glad tidings. That was the message at the annual Christmas tree lighting in North Abaco. Member of Parliament Renato Curry delivering remarks to residents, reminding them to remain thankful for all they've accomplished and received over the past year. He says it is important to demonstrate love and to be your brother's keeper. When we think about what our God have done for us in sending the greatest love gift to mankind, exposing that love gift, through his son Jesus Christ. So when we celebrate, we really celebrate, we should celebrate with a heart of thanksgiving, with the spirit of love. And even though we may not have gotten what we wanted this year, many of us, but we never was left without. And so God was still good to us. Administrator Wilma Colebrook also spreading the holiday chair. She reminded residents of the reason for the season and sending words of encouragement as they continue 2015 and prepare to enter a new year. Many of us look to these moments of celebration expecting to receive gifts from our friends and loved ones. However, as we enjoy ourselves, let us not forget to help those that are in need and to be our brother's keepers. We should, we should do our best to implement the art of clemency and to also assist the sick and shut in in our community. Employees of the China Harbor Engineering Corporation also coming out to enjoy the festivities and distributing gifts and candy to the kids. This is the first time to I take this event, so I want to, we China Harbor want to be a part of it. So we bring some gifts for these kids. We want to be a part of this community. These children, they um, brought me back to my, when I was a child, so their smells is just so clear and so pure. I feel I really happy to be with them. The Christmas tree was lit by Leotha Barnaby, a well-loved senior citizen. The North Abaco Youth Band closed out the night with a special performance. Megan Shepard, ZNS Network News. The New Life Classic dancers plan to take the beauty of nature to the 2016 New Year's Day Junkanoo Parade. Our Kimberly Mullings visited their shack yesterday to see how they're preparing for the road. The beauty of nature theme is one Grand Bahama has seen before, but the New Life Classic dancers are promising to take Grand Bahama's Junkanoo route back this New Year's Day in a creative way. People focusing on the shopping, the hustle and bustle of the Christmas season, and people talking about VAT every day, but we want to take them back to the simple things. And we used to go outside and play with the trees and going and being exploring about, you know, what is butterflies and what are bees and what are wasps and what they do. The things that God has given us, you know, the cool winters, the hot summers, the night, the day, tropical birds, we're going to take them all back to where it first started. Spokesperson for the New Life Classic Dancers, Theo Arthur, says their approach will set them apart from the other groups. Our use of color this year, you know, focused on one color palette. We have an array of colors bringing it back to what Junkin was all about, very colorful, you know, very shiny, you know, um, even with the girls' steps, as the choreographed sections is bringing something new steps to Grand Bahama that I personally think they've never seen before, from the costuming stretch just a little smaller things, the makeup. Though the classic dancers only have about 200 group members, Arthur warns the other Junkanoo groups not to count them out. We want them to keep talking, and we want them to also consider the New Life Classic dancers, because we're coming, and for other groups that are coming behind us, I hope that there is a little bit of road for them to rush on. Bring your A-game, because we're not going to back down from anybody, you know. We don't worry about the threats that they send, so every other group out there, come prepared because the New Life Classic Dance is about to put on a show of big proportions. Group member Jayla Ferguson says the New Life Classic Dancers is a force to be reckoned with this New Year's Day. This is the junior CEO of the New Life Classic Dancers. I just want y'all to know that Classic Dancers is ready. Kimberly Mullings, ZNS Network News. And it's four more days to go for the Sunset Village 8 Mile Walk Boxing Day Parade. Well, some youngsters will be a whole lot happier this Christmas thanks to the Wish Upon a Star program spearheaded by the ZNS Northern Service. So far this month, the special committee has distributed gifts to kids throughout the island. The latest stop was in the Western District. Megan Shepard has this report. 
said an S. Northern Service Wish Upon a Star committee taking the holiday chair to the Western District. The committee first stopped at the Bartlett Hill Primary School to deliver gifts to the students. Committee member and former student Audra Cooper says it was extra special to give back to her old school. On behalf of the Broadcasting Corporation of the Bahamas and the Wish Upon a Star committee, um, we are here to give back to the community, one of many that we have been doing through the past two weeks and it has been a great pleasure. It feels great, feels good to be given back. Principal Gia Walker receiving the gifts on behalf of 10 lucky students. She says she is sure that the gifts will help the students have a brighter Christmas morning. It felt so wonderful to be the recipients of um, the gifts for the students. Um, you know, at Christmas time, not everybody would get a gift. So in this way, we're sure that several of our students would be able to have something to open up for Christmas. The team then traveled to Martintown Primary School for the continuation. For committee member Judith Dawkins, this initiative is what Christmas is all about, putting smiles on the faces of children. We're happy to give these gifts to the children of um, Modern Town Primary School is part of our Broadcasting Corporation of the Bahamas Wish Upon a Star initiative. And you know, the Christmas season is all about giving. It's much better to give than to receive. It's a pleasure to give. I mean, to see the joy. The children were excited. They were standing around in anticipation of receiving their gifts. And it's just a blessing to give, to be able to give. Principal Tammy Ellis Elliott graciously accepting the gifts and says she is grateful to ZNS for the act of kindness. On behalf of Martin Town Primary School, we would like to thank you for the gesture of gifts and we know that they would be an added bonus to the lives of the children who are in need at this time. Thank you again. Megan Shepard, ZNS Network News. Thanks Megan and now it is time to ask the doctor. Dr. Mooney Pratt, welcome. Sarah from Freeport asks, I've heard a lot about this new vaccine they will be giving out at the clinic. They said it helps prevent some cancers. Do I need to get one? Thanks for such a timely question, Sarah. The vaccine that you are asking about is the HPV vaccine. HPV is transmitted through all types of sexual contact and is considered to be the most common sexually transmitted infection by the Centers of Disease Control. The virus can be passed on even if the infected person does not have any symptoms. If infected, you can even develop symptoms up to years later. Getting the vaccine is important because it can protect both men and women against genital warts, as well as cancers of the cervix, penis, anus, and throat. The Center for Disease Control recommends the vaccine for boys and girls ages 11 to 12 so that they can be protected before they are even exposed to the virus for young women up to age 26 and young men up to age 21. So the next time you visit a doctor, please discuss vaccine options for you, your child, or your teenager. I'm Dr. Monique Pratt, and this has been Ask the Doctor. Stay with us, Ricardo Liveborn has a check on sports when we return. <laughs> 